Everybody, it is your boy Super Saiyan Cab back with another Xenoverse 2 video for you guys today. We got a special skill test since it has been a while since we did a skill test on the channel. I figured we'd come back with one that was absolutely lit, and that is between the two best key ultimates in the game, in my opinion, of Hell Flash and Meteor Burst. Now, Meteor Burst has always been the best key ult in this game, without question. But with that DLC 7 update making Hell Flash so much better and so much high, um, so much more damaging, it is definitely in competition with Meteor Burst for the best Key Blast skill or Key Blast Ultimate in Xenoverse 2 as of right now. So those are the two skills that we're going to be taking a look at today. If you guys would like any of these other crazy OP skills tested against each other, be sure to leave those votes and suggestions down below in the comments. Now, I do want to mention Sub Saturday one more time. For those who may have missed the announcement video of Sub Saturday, guys, Sub Saturday this week is going to be your best comebacks ever on Xenoverse 2. So be sure to send those clips either to the email down below in the description, the Twitter down below in the description, or the Discord that I'll also have linked down below in the description for you guys. You can send it through any one of those three ways. Be sure to do so to have a chance to get into Sub Saturday. But that's enough talking from me. Let's jump straight into this video comparing the two best key ultimates in Xenoverse 2. All right, y'all, getting the skill test started the same way as always. First thing we're going to be looking at is damage. Then we're going to be talking about speed and uses before taking both of these moves online to the rank scene. Now, getting this started with Hell Flash, guys. Hell Flash is a move that can put out multiple different damage outputs. It truly just depends on how many hits you get. As you see right there, we got 25 hits for 13,182 damage. And sometimes you will not get that full amount of hits. Sometimes you will get less. Sometimes you will maybe even get a little bit more. I believe the max I've gotten is like 26 or 27. Again, right there, we got 25. But this time around, it did 12,870 damage, which again, this move is very, very inconsistent with the amount of damage it actually outputs which is very weird in my opinion because you get the same amount of hits sometimes but a little less damage and sometimes you'll get a little more hits obviously resulting in more damage but again the fact that you get the same hits sometimes and will get less damage is just weird but as you see it can range from somewhere between like 12,700 all the way to like 13,400 damage when you do get that max hit now, you can also use this move from far from your opponent. You will not get the max damage. As you guys see right here, you're going to get 10,982 because you're not getting all that initial action. The only part that's hitting your opponent is when the Hell Flash comes out of the ground and makes that pillar. Now, when you're up close, obviously, you get all the blast that's going into the ground. All of that hits your opponent as well, which is why it does more damage up close than from far. But it still does good damage from far, being that it only takes three bars to keep. Now... Moving on to Meteor Burst, guys. Meteor Burst is a move that is obviously much more consistent when it comes to its damage, but it also has different variations as well. If you press the button again really quickly, you're going to get this very fast variation of Meteor Burst, as you guys see, and that does 11,246 damage. But if you only press the button once and then completely let go after that, as you guys see right here, it's a longer animation. It takes longer to use, but you get 12,386 damage. So you do get a little bit more damage when you use that second variation. Now, all in all, clearly Hell Flash does do more damage, but Meteor Burst is a bit more consistent when it comes to that damage as well. Now, moving on to the actual speed of these moves, guys. Meteor Burst obviously is a very fast move when you use the quick variation of it. But when you use the slow variation, it honestly is not the fastest move in the world. It is kind of slow at that point. So when it comes to Hell Flash, Hell Flash is not fast. Hell Flash is not slow. I would say that it is faster then the first or the second variation, the one where you just let the button go of Meteor Burst, but it is definitely slower than the fast variation of Meteor Burst without question at the same time. And again, right there, you guys saw we got 27 hits instead of 25, and that time it did 13,284. So it can vary, but it'll always be in that area of damage. Just keep that in mind. Now, 
when you talk about uses of these moves guys both of these moves are very very similar in their uses both do require a stamina break you cannot use these moves without a stamina break now of course you can just try and fire a hell flash or something like that from far from your opponent but most likely they're just going to hit you with a double burst burst and break your stamina like that anyway so when it comes to these moves again both of these do require a stamina break and both are very very similar as you guys are going to see once we get trunks of stamina back both are very very similar when it comes to hell flash you can do something like this guys just go into a quick sledgehammer boom into the knockdown combo then appear right above your opponent and go immediately into the hell flash and this will work for you all day every day now i'm in base form and i am getting twenty thousand seven hundred and ninety eight damage that is absolutely insane but if your opponent does have a bit more stamina as you see trunks has seven and a half bars which isn't the most which isn't the least it's about average but if your opponent has eight bars of stamina or more you can do something like this when it comes to a hell flash combo Go into the sledgehammer, then immediately afterwards throw a vanishing ball at your opponent and then track them down really quickly. Go into the knockdown attack and then right afterwards, usually you're going to have to teleport to them. But if you don't right here, as you can see, you can land the hell flash. But when you have to include that teleportation, usually it takes too long to where Trunks will get a stamina back. But someone who has eight bars will not. And that is a death combo, guys, in base form that only took five bars of key think about how absolutely insane that truly is five bars of key and we just killed this man trunks in one single combo so clearly the way you want to use health flash is just with a stamina break and then after some kind of knockdown combo you want to teleport to your opponent and get right next to them and then use it for its full uh, effect and full damage now meteor burst is very very similar as well like i said guys when your opponent has uh not that much stamina or an average amount of stamina you can just do a simple combo like this with the sledgehammer then right on the ground up here right before them and go into the meteor burst right afterwards as you guys see that combo is going to do you 19,000 damage pretty much but if your opponent does have that little bit more stamina you can do the same combo with the sledgehammer into a, a vanishing ball or some other kind of move that is fairly quick where you can track your opponent down right afterwards and then immediately go into the meteor burst once again and as you guys see this combo also will kill trunks and i am only in base form guys so clearly both of these moves are absolutely insane and very very similar when it comes to the damage the speed the uses all of that but there's one thing that i want to talk about with meteor burst that hell flash really cannot do meteor burst is a move where you can link ultimates for the most part if you have enough key you can link multiple ultimates with this move now hell flash is not the best move to link with it other moves like super kamehameha times four kaioken kamehameha super black kamehameha moves like that are much much better to link with this ultimate but again you can link multiple ults with this move as you see what meteor burst when you do a sledgehammer right into the meteor burst and they get sent flying up in the air you can usually go into another move into a super black kamehameha something of that nature and it will hit immediately afterwards as you see that was able to hit but it kind of took a little bit because of the recovery frames and how slow hell flash is but faster moves like i said with super black kamehameha super kamehameha moves like that you will be able to connect with meteor burst just making the damage output that much more insane for the simple fact that you can connect ultimates with this move that was one last thing i wanted to mention before we take these moves online but now we are about to and the first move that we are going to be using in the first match is hell flash and the second match we'll use meteor burst and i will see you guys a day all right, y'all, here we go with the first match. Like I said, we're going to be showcasing Hell Flash in this match. Now, I am on rank without limitations. Usually, I play only with limits, as you guys know, for the most part. But today, you know, or this week, I actually, um, that Tapion event is going on for the blue Tapion outfit, which I do want, so I definitely want. So I definitely, how the heck? That's twice, bro. I'm literally backing up, and he's... Ugh, this game, bro. This game has really been some not too good these last two days. I'm not going to lie to you guys. T uh, today and yesterday, the game has not been the greatest in the world. It has been on some nonsense again. Come here. That's not going to work around here, my guy. Just going to hold the block button. Are you serious? Come here, bro. Appreciate you just being dumb. Get your ass over here. Use that stamina. So watch out. Watch out. Why am I not? Why am I not? Why am I not? What? What? Oh my god! This is what I'm talking about, dude! Just abs- HOW I AM BACKING UP! Jesus, bro! <laughs> oh 
my god, dude. You got you got to be kidding me. He's hitting me from five feet. Oh my god. This is just trash, man. This is what I had I was so done with experiencing on this game. Get your ass over here. Get spit. You gotta be kidding me. And he uses limit burst. You guys are just garbage out here, bro. You guys are just absolute trash. Get, get over here. Come here. Get to the ground. Come here. Oh, I used the wrong move. Oh, you're going to have to take this meteor burst. Okay, I guess we'll be showcasing Hell Flash next match. But, like, dude, this man limit burst after he was getting all that nonsense. All right, y'all, moving on to the second match. Hopefully, we don't have that nonsense going again. Like I said, the game really has been back on its nonsense these last two days. I don't know what's going on. It was looking so beautiful, just so right with the recent update. And, and, and now the last two days have kind of been lagging. Ever since, really, I streamed yesterday, it hasn't been the greatest. Because during the day, I did play some rank yesterday as well. And it was fine. But today, you know, it hasn't been the greatest. And yesterday during the stream, it really wasn't that great either. But again, right now it is looking pretty good, so I have no complaints. I don't know, damn it, come here. Use your stamina. By the way, Pernsis Mo is a subscriber. Huge shout out to Pernsis for uh just for being a sub and this match right here. Come here, my guy. Get your ass over here just because you a sub. That does not save you from this beatdown. Come here. Use the stamina's. Oh, stamina's? Stamina's. There, there. Oh, he came right after me. I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. But there goes the stamina's that we want it. I'll take this damage right here. I have no problem with that. That's okay. That's okay. As long as I keep my stamina in high spirits, we will be good. It's your ass over here. Thank you. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't key cancel fast enough. I was expecting a back hit since I've kind of come at him kind of quick. Nani? How did he get that priority? He was literally punching the air waiting for me to come after him. Come on now. All right. The man went Super Saiyan 3, so he really doesn't want his stamina to come back very uh, pretty fast, does he? Come here. Can you use... Yo, Stamina's! I need you to use Stamina's, bro. I don't even want to knock him out. I just need him to use Stamina's! There it go, there it go. Okay, Stamina's! Come on! There we go, there we go. Now we just need a break. Now we... Oh, shit. That did a lot of damage. My God. Come here. No, sir. Get your ass over here. Get spit on. And take this health flash to say goodbye. Oh! He got away! Okay, he still got hit. I guess I didn't do it fast enough because he got away. I was a little bit slow on the input out in the hell flash. He did get away for a little second. But we still pulled it off, guys. I, I didn't use it off a of knockaway just because I wanted to be disrespectful right there. But, of course, it will work all day, every day with the knockdown attack as well. But, again, shout out to the homie Princess Mo for being a subscriber. And, of course, tuning into the channel, man. I really appreciate that. And everybody else. Shout out to everybody watching this video. I love you all. But those are the two matches with these moves guys now which move between these two do you think is better and why out of all skill tests guys i want you guys to let me know on this one in particular which one do you guys think is the best because these are truly the two best key ultimates in the game in my opinion i do not think any other moves really compare because of the damage that they can output with three bars of key and how easy they are also to land so again, man, let me know down below what you guys think is the best key ultimate in the game between these two, <coughs> or if you, excuse me, or if you think that another key ultimate may be the best one in Xenoverse 2, but again, I believe that it is between these two, so let me know for sure which one you guys think is the best down below, and your overall thoughts on the video, man, but as always, thank you guys so much for watching, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video, I know to see that lag was a little bit sad, but just think, in the second match, we were all good, to, you know, there was really no issues at all, so that could have just been like a uh, aberration, you know, something that's not going to happen too often, hopefully it is and hopefully this game continues to be playable so we can continue to enjoy xenoverse like we always have until the lag started ruining this game for us but as always man again thank you guys so much for watching really really hope you guys enjoyed until next time as always i hope you have a good day peace y'all